What's up guys? Wanted to review a uh, Bulova for you guys today. This is a Bulova Lunar Pilot. It's a, a chronograph quartz piece by Bulova. Uh, this watch has some interesting uh, history to it. If you watch some of the other videos or read some of the other backstories on it, this watch was actually uh, went up to space back in 1971. Uh, long story short, uh, Omega was the official uh, company to, to manufacture wristwatches for the, for the astronauts, but uh, Bulova actually gave this watch, or uh, the original watch, uh, to David Scott, who was a, an astronaut on the mission, and they had him kind of secretly take it up to space and uh, a long story short, the crystal off of his Bulova popped up, uh, sorry, Omega popped off, and he actually ended up taking this one up uh, onto the lunar surface. Um, and so this was actually, interestingly, the first watch that <laughs> didn't fail on the moon as, as much as uh, Omega touts their history. And it, obviously they, they have a lot of things going for them as well. But uh, uh, this, is, this is a very unique piece. Um, so this is kind of an, an homage to that original watch. Um, I think that watch, after it, it uh, I think 10, 15 years after the after the moon mission, the, uh, the the astronaut actually sold that watch for like an auction for over well over a million or 1.5 million. So obviously, both of us saw the opportunity to reissue reissue this watch, and uh, it's been uh, met with some some good praise so far. So let me just. Uh, Go ahead and jump into it. Uh, it's, a, it's a large watch. It's about 44 millimeters. Um, it's a chronograph piece. So you can see, you know, the sub dials with the uh, uh, minutes, sub seconds and seconds dial there. It's got the, uh, the minute counter or second counter up there, the tachymeter ring on the outside. Uh, what's cool is that it has this uh, raised sapphire glass and then it has like all these different surfaces, which is really interesting. You can see there's like a ring different uh, layers of detail. There's like a recessed ring and then all the subdials are recessed. So lots of cool textures and lots of uh, different, uh, you know, it's, it's cool, it's just cool to look at. And then it has that awesome black and white uh, contrast uh, color as well, as far as the hands and the dial are concerned and, and the, the indices as well. Uh, the case back has this uh, Apollo 15 some details on the mission, July 26, 1971 uh, to August 7th, 1971 was when that mission occurred. And then there's some dates up on there. I think this was the date that uh, this watch was actually up on the moon um, on August uh, 2nd. Uh, then it's got some literature, some, some words on the, on the side, high performance quartz, sapphire glass, water resistant, 50 meters, and the reference numbers and whatnot there as well. So this is actually utilizing Bulova's proprietary high performance quartz or the uh, precisionist, uh, very similar to the precisionist movement. It beats at a very high frequency, 262 kilohertz. So that's why you can see it kind of ticking at a sort of like an irregular beat, but a lot quicker than a traditional quartz watch. And one of the great things about this watch, uh, this movement is that it actually gives you really great accuracy. I think it gains or loses like a few seconds, give or take a year, which is uh, really impressive. Uh, no screw down crown. Um, this is only 50 meters water resist. It's got the pushers here. So you push the top button here to uh, oh, go ahead and activate the, uh, the chronograph fu uh, function. You'll see the sub seconds start to sweep. And then once you pause it, it'll uh, you know show you the seconds and sub seconds that have elapsed. This will track the, the minutes have, that have elapsed. Um, what's interesting is I think after 30 seconds or a minute, this, this, uh, uh, the sub seconds actually stop spinning, but it still keeps track of the time. When you pause the, the, uh, chron chronograph, it'll still show you how much this precise time that's elapsed. Uh, so then you pause it with another push and then you pre press the uh, bottom button to go ahead and reset the chronograph here. Uh, what else to say? There's a, there's a, a date window here, uh, which I like. Um, I put it on this leather strap. I just wanted to, you know, I don't think there's a whole lot of videos with uh, uh, this watch on a leather strap, so I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. I did, I have been putting it on this uh, NATO strap, which I picked off of eBay for uh, 10 bucks or something like that. So it's a 
It's a nice little strap. I think the NATO actually matches this, is, is really fitting of this, this watch in this particular moon watch style. It also comes on this, uh, comes with this, this particular version, which is the bracelet version, comes with this uh, astronaut uh, kind of uh, strap as well. And then it comes with like a sporty carbon fiber leather strap as well. I'm sure you guys have seen in other videos. I don't know where I put it, but uh, comes with this uh, strap changing tool as well. Nice solid box. It's got a couple manuals in there for, um, Shows a little, tells a little bit about the history of the watch and the brand, which is which is really neat. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's a really cool piece. Um, the loom on it isn't amazing, but it uh, I can maybe try to pop a, a loom shot here uh, or a picture of the of the loom here in a second. Uh, it's it's not it's not amazing, but it does get the job done. Um, you know, this kind of watch you you wouldn't expect to be you know crazily loomed like a diver or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really solid piece. Um, it it has, a, has, has, a, has a really interesting history to it. And, uh, you know, obviously it has that, that moon heritage and it can be had for, uh, it can be had for a fraction of what the Omega Speedmaster comes, uh, is, is priced at. So let me go ahead and just pop it on my wrist real quick and just show you guys. And uh, we'll be, get you guys on your way. So it is, the watch itself is a little large. It does wear large, you know, it's a 44 millimeter uh, diameter case and I think like 50 or 50 plus uh, lug tip to lug tip. Um, sorry if it's a little streaky, but you know, it, it's it's got a really nice, just sporty vibe to it. And uh, you know, probably not the dressiest watch. Um, I wouldn't wear this to, you know, a wedding or anything overly dressy necessarily, uh, but you know, it is, you know, for a daily wear, for you know, office duty um, or just ca more casual settings, I think it's it's a uh, it's it's a great watch for that. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I personally think this is a really solid piece by Bolova, especially you know they as a brand they have great history. They've released some questionable pieces <laughs> in the past few years, just kind of giant gaudy kind of more fashion pieces, but it is cool to see them release some of the more heritage brands. I know they are coming out with uh, some watches that are like, you know, uh, automatic movements and, and kind of hearkening back to their their uh, uh, glory days or more more heritage designs. Uh, so it's good to see them kind of getting in that direction and, and uh, really embracing their history in the past. So I wanted to keep this one short, guys. Let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. It, re it really means a lot to me as I'm trying to build up this channel and give you guys some other great reviews. So thanks again, guys, and uh, hope you have a good one.